Welcome back to another episode of Stopper Garage, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be deep cleaning the inside of this Toyota Corolla. That is a complete disaster. Another cool part about this video is you're gonna have the chance to win a Ram 1500 TRX and $20,000. We'll talk about more of those specifics later on in the video and how cool that truck is. But for right now, subscribe if you're new and give it a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get started this detail. So first things first for this Corolla is just to get everything out of the car as usual, get the floor mats, get all of the large trash, any debris that is gonna cause the vacuum not to be able to do its job, and also to remove any of the personal items for the owner and set it aside in a separate box that then I give back to him at the end of the detail. So if you guys missed this last Thursday's video, I did a video specifically on the top detailing mistakes that I see. And I wanted to go into more specific of a lot of the things that I mentioned in this video, but go into a lot more detail so that way you guys get a better understanding to improve your detailing game. And to build on to that, I want you guys to comment down below your top detailing tip or mistake that you see that everybody can use to improve themselves, improve their detailing game. Um, and that way we can, as a community, just become better at detailing in general. So go ahead and leave those comments down below. talked about carpets in the past and which brands I don't like over others, but I will say Toyota has always done a really good job with their fabrics and I was really happy with how well this carpet cleaned up. Um, there was no pet hair or anything to have to worry about cleaning up or sticks or pine needles that get stuck inside of it, um, but Toyota carpet is definitely on my top three uh, easiest carpets to clean from a detailing standpoint. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this video is all about this complete disaster, but it is also about giving you guys the chance to win a Ram 1500 TRX and $20,000 in cash. The Ram 1500 TRX is a pickup truck that is powered by a 6.2 liter Hemi supercharged V8 with 702 horsepower, can go zero to 60 in under four seconds, has 35 inch tires, Bilstein shocks so you can cruise and jump, ride, do whatever you wanna do off road, but also cruise down the highway with five passenger seats. It's honestly the most amazing truck on the planet and you guys have the chance to win here by heading over to omaze.com slash stoffer and entering in there. Donations go to a amazing cause, Team Rubicon, which is a veteran-led disaster response organization that mobilizes veterans, 
first responders, civilian volunteers to help communities before, during, and after disasters and humanitarian crises. So it helps support a great cause and you guys get the chance to win a really cool truck and $20,000 in cash. So head on over to omaze.com slash stopper after this video for your chance to win. So in last week's video, I asked you guys how many bottle caps did I find inside the detail, and whoever guessed the closest first was gonna win a $100 gift card to Amazon, and the winner is Samantha Smith for guessing 37 bottle caps that I found. Now, if your carpets are just mildly dirty with a little bit of dirt on the surface, but no like deep embedded stains, you could always use a simple carpet upholstery cleaner like Folex, for instance. Spray it on the surface, agitate it with your brush or your um, or your drill brush, and then just use a microfiber towel to wipe it clean. That is a quick, easy alternative over having to use the whole extractor process. When you are cleaning your seats and if you do have the opportunity to one, remove them from the car, but even if they are still in the car, always make sure you recline the seat forward and backwards when you do the vacuuming process because you do get stuff that gets stuck inside that different area between the top and the bottom bolsters that is hard to get to if you didn't do so. Also, make sure you vacuum out the rails by pushing the seat all the way back, vacuuming the top inside of the rail, and then moving it all the way forward and doing the same on the back side. You never know what kind of stuff can get stuck in there, and when you move the seat inside the car, a lot of those crumbs and dirt will then fall onto the carpet that you just cleaned, and you don't want that to happen. Now for these floor mats, we're just gonna vacuum up majority of the dirt first, and then later on, I'm gonna hit them with a pressure washer to get the rest of that dirt and grime removed for them, and then throwing them back inside the car. I won't be spraying them with anything because the last thing you wanna do with any floor mats or pedals in general is putting any extra protective coating on them that might cause it to be slippery, especially in those areas.
You can see in this extraction clip, I'm mostly focusing on the sides of the carpet here and any area where that floor mat did not sit. Because these carpets are fairly clean, all you have to worry about is those different threshold areas between the end and the beginning of that floor mat and where the carpet in that meets, because that's where the majority of the dirt is going to be collected inside the car. Now all the products I use in my video, any of the cleaning solutions or any of the actual tools, I always have those listed in the description box below for you guys. And if you're looking for a pet hairbrush or detailing brushes or microfiber towels, head over to foxclean.com after this video to make sure you pick up your detailing supplies today. Because the seat is dual materials, I'm just going to be using my drill brush on the fabric, which is a medium grade bristle brush uh, in terms of stiffness. And then for the actual leather side pieces, I'm going to be using a detailing brush, which is a little bit softer and less likely to scratch the leather. Um, they do have soft detailing or soft drill brushes as well. Um, but for this one, it's not a very dirty seat, so I'm just going to be using the drill brush in the center and then detailing brushes on the outside. Now I'm trying out a new leather cleaner and a new leather conditioner that I'm gonna be carrying on my website very, very soon. And this product has been kind of in the works for quite a while now, and I've been testing different formulas, but I'm super stoked with how this one turned out. The cleaner works amazing at removing any of that grime but without dehydrating the leather, um, but it is creating a perfect base for the leather conditioner that you guys will see getting applied here very shortly. And I'm ecstatic with how well it goes on, how fast it dries, and how well it helps hydrating that leather and making it look like brand new again.
even though in the extractor clips you couldn't see a ton of dirt getting removed, it is always shocking to how much dirt actually gets pulled from it and poured into these buckets when I pour out these extractors. It's um, always deceiving when you have black colored interiors. Now for all interior panels, I'm just using my wall purpose cleaner to spray down the entire inside, wipe it down, and then I'm using my protectant spray on top of that to kind of make sure that plastic has a UV protectant to it and also gives that new black plastic shine that you get when you buy a brand new car.
And one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this center console area is make sure if you have a leather shift boot or even a fabric one on the shifter itself or on the e-brake, you make sure you pull that all the way up and down to make sure you don't miss any spots or any caked on grease or grime or candy, for instance, or food. Um, this one had a lot of candy on it, so I had to actually pull it all the way up and then wipe it clean fairly easily, which was nice. If you are cleaning the inside of your car, these door sills, especially the painted areas, I would recommend cleaning those as well, and especially around the actual doors themselves where the metal and the door panel meet. That's an area that kind of gets missed sometimes, but is a nice extra touch that even if you go through a drive through car wash or wash your car at home, you typically do not get to get the inside of that door panel clean. And if you just clean the plastic and the outside paint, that area can get built up with a lot of grease and dirt over time and make it a big old eyesore. So if you can, go ahead and wipe that area clean while you're doing the interior detail to make sure that next time you get in the car, that part, that part looks spotless as well.
When the owner of this car got the car back, they were actually very surprised that this was the same exact vehicle that they dropped off for the detail in the first place. Um, but the car turned out insane by the end of it, and I'm excited to start trying to get some more customer reaction videos. I know I've done those in the past, haven't done them in a while, um, just because of COVID and everything, but I wanted to start trying to maybe get those reactions again for you guys because they are a nice little extra touch at the end just to see how happy people are to get their car looking like new again. But with that being said, go ahead and subscribe if you're new, and if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next week.